All right, India is a superpower. Oh, fantastic man. India is a superpower. Mind blasting. India will be number one, ekdam number one one day. Like, uh, India will be greater than USA, Russia, China combined. Jai Hind, Jai Sri Ram. Those are some of the comments I get below my videos. Whenever I point out something which is not right. India is ekdam number one, number one. Uh, India is super power. You know how many nuclear bombs we have? Oh, fuck, man. You know, we went to the dark side of the moon, Transformers. Even USA could not do that. Uh, hey, by the way, we are the, what? Satya Nadella, Sundar Pichai. All our Indians are ruling USA. Yeah, only a small correction. They, they dumped your passport. They took Gora passport and they are ruling USA. They identify themselves as Indian origin. Matlab, I was born in India, but I prefer America. That they forget. It's like Kamala Harris, she's Indian, Indian. Her great, great, great grand, grandmother, someone was Indian and she shagged a Jamaican and out she came. She's Indian. And they will do puja and they will celebrate in that village where somebody of her ancestors were born and they will dance and and all that and whatever. That music comes, I'm giving some sound effects also. So when these proud Indians, nationalistic pride, patriots say India is a superpower, my, you know, I think that, what is that supposed to mean? India is superpower, so what? So does that mean you became a superpower? No, I'm asking, India is a superpower, so what does that mean? You became a superpower? Okay, India is number one, whatever. So does that mean your salary has increased now to US dollars? Or you're getting greater purchasing power? Or your bank balance has increased? Or your boss gave you a promotion. In fact, tell me if I'm wrong, most of the Indians with master's degree, master's degree, who are working at a managerial position, they get paid less. They get paid less than what some Western expats make in one, you know, in a few hours. Professionals. The same, maybe the same uh, work. You'll say, yeah, the currency value is high, standard of living. Yeah, but they earn more, right? In fact, whenever our keyboard warriors talk to me, I'm not saying this just to make, like, to drive home a point and I'm not making fun of you. Work is worship, worship is God, you're earning, respect to you. But you, what you're struggling to earn per month is what I make in one to two hours. Okay, this is a fact, this is not to uh, put you down. The point I'm trying to tell you is, India is number one, India's superpower. Then why your salaries are so bad? If India is superpower, shouldn't your salaries be also super? I mean, then why are you celebrating? Hey, India, India, number one, number one. Like, for example, if Prime Minister Modi, he wins an election. Yeah, yeah, they'll take the drum and dug, 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 and they'll put, yeah, Modi, Modi, da, da. Okay, so, bank balance increased. Maybe Modi donated one crore, two crore to your bank account. Crore, not crore, crore, like, uh, say, a million. He donated to your bank. Maybe your salary is now four times over. Maybe uh, they have guaranteed your children's education. Nothing happens. Your salary is the same. Your savings are the same. Your child is still confused. You are earning peanuts. Then what are you jumping and dancing and celebrating for? There is so much of furor, so much of pride. Yes, Modi, yeah. Yeah, India, superpower, yeah, dark side of the moon, transformers. Yeah, India landed there, we Indians conquered the moon. So, how much money increased of yours? 
Zero, right? You're still earning peanuts. You're still struggling to get up in the morning and drive through two to three hours of traffic. And then you work for a boss in an environment where your salary, what you earn in a month, is what a few, not few, many people in the world earn per hour or two hours. You're earning that less after struggling, giving your ass. And then you come back home after two, three hours of traffic and you're exhausted. So what are you celebrating for? Here's my question. What are you celebrating for when your life is still the same? Like a brain dead sheep, simply jumping. Like for example, uh, that uh, javelin throw guy who got a gold medal. India, number one, yeah, javelin, number one. Nobody even knew what the fuck was a javelin until then. You don't even know the rules of javelin throw. You didn't know that sport bloody existed. All of a sudden, one Indian guy got a javelin. Everyone wants to be a javelin thrower. All parents want to send their children to throw javelin, it looks like. Oh, we are uh, number one, number one. Baba, how have you contributed to his success? Did you pay money? Did you sponsor him? Did you follow his journey? No, just because he succeeded, at the moment of his glory, you want to associate his glory to your a gold medal, number one, I'm Indian. He's Indian, I'm Indian. If an Indian guy or person of Indian origin gets appointed by an American company, Are, Satya Nadala, Indian, I'm Indian. Are, you know, the, the Kamala. Are, I, Kamala, she and I used to eat together, yeah. Our great grandfathers. She's Indian, I'm Indian. Are, we landed on the moon. Indian, Indian, India. Why are you taking so much of pride on someone else's hard work? It's like my neighbor got, uh, you know, uh, my neighbor's daughter got first rank or she succeeded in getting a seat in an Ivy League university and I'm celebrating. See, her daughter, my daughter, same school. She got into Ivy League. Hey, what's going wrong with you guys here? What is this nationalistic pride which doesn't evaluate logically, like, how does it benefit me? And you're not a patriot. You didn't go to the war and take a bullet for the country. You're sitting your candy ass, enjoying life with the perks. Doesn't make you a patriot. Someone who gives his life for the country or is fighting in a army, navy, I respect those individuals. I've even had on... Uh, YouTube where one guy was not giving me bad words. What do you know about India, this and that? And I was like, what do you know? And finally he told me, I'm a retired colonel in the army. This Immediately, I said, I told him, sir, I called him sir. Okay, he's in his 60 plus word, retired colonel. I said, sir, I apologize. I didn't argue. I said, I apologize because you're someone who gave the years of his life for his for our country. I respect you. And he was surprised. He was taken aback and, oh, he's saying, uh, you all of a sudden have changed. I said, no, sir, it's, you have to respect people who have done what you have done because I wouldn't have the courage to take a bullet, let alone take it for anybody else. Maybe my family, yes, not for the country, but you have. So respect is, should be given where respect is due. Where someone has proved his loyalty, faithfulness, where he has proved, okay, I'm a true patriot. But the rest of you cartoons, keyboard warriors, what? BJP won, so what does that do for you? They built a temple. <laughs> How much are you going to go and pray? You hardly pray. You do all this shit. Why are you celebrating? Oh, India landed on the dark side of the moon. Do you even fucking know anything that happened before that? Only when, see the problem, only when they succeed. Hey, Indian, Indian, I'm Indian, he's Indian. Hey, we all Indian. Then why don't you say the same when there is a rapist, an Indian pedophile in UK. You can Google search. Hey, he's a pedophile, he's Indian, I'm Indian. Why don't you say that? Why don't you say I'm Indian when someone fails? 
Why only you want the glory and associate yourself? And why are you feeling good about someone else's success? Yeah? India is superpower, India number one. Baba, India as a country is number one. Modi as an individual has attained the most powerful position. How the fuck does it benefit you? Your spouse, your parents, your children. Oh, he has made India stable. Okay. When was it not stable in your region? This mindless nonsense that our Indians simply keep farting just to save their sensitive woke ego, their empty shallow character. It's a shame. And then, you know, for example, I criticize this Sadhguru chap. Oh, do you know who Sadhguru? No, I don't know. You tell me. Uh, you're jealous. Jealous about what? You're jealous of his success. No, not success, just the money. He commercialized on Hinduism and he's worth a billion. That I wouldn't mind, the billion. Even I wouldn't mind commercializing Hinduism. Hey, don't dare talk like that, huh? One lady, lady, huh? Indian lady, don't you dare. I said, I dare. And she said, don't you dare or I'll show you. I said, I will dare, but please don't show me because there is nothing you have that is worth looking at. I'm sure even your husband, when he looks at you at night, he must be switching off the light and going off to sleep. She said, I'll report to uh, the police what you said to me. Okay, take a screenshot. And if that was not comedic enough, you think it's only immature children. Even our adults are doing the same thing. Even our, uh, what, uh, our youth, which is supposed to focus on their career, earning capacity. You know, I told you, you know, there's a member in my group who has been in my group now for, I think, five years. Oh, he's an ardent uh, BJP supporter. He is a hardcore nationalist. He is a hardcore you know, Hindu is saying he hates Muslims. Every argument he used to before. If there's a rape in India, yeah, Pakistan is this. Oh, there's a crime in India, oh, Pakistan. Everything is, you bring Pakistan in. Uh, until uh, one fine day I said, uh, boss, uh, you have been harping so much. Uh, tell me something about you. So I said, sir, can I send you private? I said, okay. Young boy, college, that time he was in college, now he's in his 20s. College student. He used to spend close to... I mean, I would just see his messages. He would argue left, right and center with everyone. I think close to six to eight hours on the phone. Over the years, I saw him transform and today he has a basic job that pays him I, I don't know how he survives, but anyway, he earns, he earns. He's quietened down a little bit, but he's still a Hin, you know, ardent Hindu follower. He supports BJP. Doesn't talk smack so much because I've tightened the rules in the group. But he doesn't have money to even book a holiday ticket. In fact, it became so desperate for a guy who is to be so proud of India. Actually asked me, sir, I want to go to Dubai to earn some money, can you help me? I said, you are praising India so much and be Indian, buy Indian, live in India and Bharat, Mata, Jai Hind and Jai Sri Ram, what happened to all that? Why don't you be patriot and loyal to India? No, sir, I'm going to Dubai to support India, to, I'll send money back home to India. No, no, be in India and stay in India, no? Why? Because eventually, you know what happened? He wanted to get married to a girl, he didn't have money. And uh, <laughs> feel sorry for him because in the end she left him. She didn't wait for him. And there he realized, okay, I support BJP so much. I support Hinduism. I support patriotism. I am anti-Pakistan. Who's going to take care of me, my needs, my bank balance, my career? And today he's just a very quiet member in my group. He still shares his problems once in a while. Um, I listen to it because he's an old member. See, there's nothing wrong in being patriotic. There are people who are very patriotic, but 
you need to ask yourself what are your goals what are your priorities what are your expenses what is your income what is your savings bjp and modi they have their agenda they will simply give you sweet talk they will reach the position of power then fuck you he is not don't there are billions of people he is not going to nobody in the bjp is going to sit and look at you and say oh you have less money you supported us we'll take care of you in fact i know b politicians politicians who themselves talk to me and say they are looking for sponsors to fund their campaign they don't have the money so many of them india being number 1 and uh, modi being the minister and landing on the other side of the moon and this guy got a gold medal and that guy went to us and became a ceo how the fuck does it benefit you boss how does it increase your income how does it uh, take care of your future your needs your child's future your bank balance all you are doing is oh india ekdam number one number one india naya super power hai super power you are beating your chest you are thumping everything you are and you are going back to the shit hole lifestyle that you have nothing has changed for you everyone else has benefited that ceo who has dumped the indian passport and gone to the west why are you proud about it you should be ashamed at least that guy is doing something for his career and money and you 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 want compliments oh rishi sunak is indian oh you know vivek ramaswamy indian eh indian origin not indian sorry indian origin eh satyanadala eh sundar pichai all indian indian origin yeah what passport they hold today the best example like i gave your wife ran away dumped your ass now is sleeping with another guy and saying hey you know she is so beautiful she is my ex wife she is my ex wife yeah see see someone else is humping her see my wife ha 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 you should be fucking ashamed yeah i'm more interested me i don't know about others i'm not interested in okay this guy's dick is small my dick is bigger no that's what you're doing when you compare countries and take pride oh that guy's dick is big uh, he is indian i am indian ha huh? no you look at your fucking dick na no? and then telling me oh you are jealous of his uh, money how much do you earn that is another criticism they give me how much money you earn do you know how rich is uh, you know how rich uh, jaggi uh, what uh, that sadguru is do you know how rich he is how much money do you have okay let's talk how much money you have how much money i have and then they tell me i have 10 houses i have 20000 acres some bullshit i have 40 cars i'm a multi millionaire means anonymous no so i said boss if you're so rich and so successful 100 times more than me why are you wasting your time with a poor guy like me like it's like me saying i'm a successful personal branding strategist and i go to a beggar on the road and i'm telling you ah, i'm i'm more successful than you do you know how immature and illogical that sounds if you are so successful don't you have priorities don't you have things to do shouldn't you be focused on something worthwhile then arguing with me no no you insulted my country that's why i give you back okay so focus on your greatness but remember this is a guy who he has made claims i don't know who is he i don't know what is his real name his age where he works what he does as an anonymous uh, account and he's busy commenting below my videos and then this ill illogical uh, statements you're jealous of india i am jealous of what oh you're jealous of uh, so jealous of what boss maybe the money i wouldn't mind getting more money i'm not jealous of hinduism i don't want to be a hindu i'm not jealous of indians there are very rich indians they're doing very well uh, it just doesn't make any fucking sense when you talk about some rape incident or some corruption or something yeah you're jealous uh, india is number one we are the greatest superpower Yeah, we have the biggest dick, biggest sausage here. Look, 
forget about someone else's sausage. Let's talk about yours, no? Then people ask me, yeah, you're talking to Sadhguru. What about you? I'm not a public uh, person who has said that, you know, uh, the pseudoscience of the planets and Lord Shiva and Lord Ganesh and they will do hocus pocus magic tricks and heal me and I never made those claims. I never made uh, scientific claims, pseudo-scientific claims. Yeah. See, what I say, you can hold me accountable for it. What someone else says, he has to be held accountable. And if you get criticized for what you're saying, then you should explain why you someone else's mouthpiece. Then they say, oh, you have guts, go and uh, debate with uh, Sadhguru. The guy who earns billions, billions, who goes to Will Smith's house, who travels in a helicopter, he is going to come to meet a YouTuber who has hardly 100 views, 200 views, 1000 views. Yeah, is is going to spend time and debate with me. Nice, yeah, logic. The final thing people say, why don't you speak good about India? Okay, let's say I'll make a video. India is number one superpower. India is, uh, you know, landed on the dark side of the moon. India, uh, BJP one. Okay, let's say for that. Who is interested? Tell me. I'm asking a simple question. Who is interested? People will say, yeah, we can read this in the news. That's what they'll say. We can read this in the news. This is what people say. So then, what? And after making a video, spending eight hours and uploading a video, India is a superpower, India is, uh, this guy got a gold medal and, uh, you know, India is the largest military. Who's, who's going to watch that video? What is there to watch? Why don't you make the video? Here's my simple suggestion. Why don't you make that video? Why are you telling me to make it? Do I come to your workplace and say, listen, I want you to do all this because I don't like what you're doing? You'll say, who the fuck are you, man? Mind your own business. Are you paying me a salary? Same thing I'll tell you, no? Absolute village idiots. You know, focus on something that benefits you, your family, your life. Me being a YouTuber, yes, I do share comments. You being people who take the comments, engage, no problem. But makes sense, no? You guys talk nonsense. India is number one. You talk about rape, India is number one as superpower. Oh, USA, more rape is... Who the fuck cares about what is happening in USA, man? Who gives a rat's ass? What, you just cherry-picked one, this thing? What about the rest of the facts? Yes, America is worse. Yes, they have the highest number of people incarcerated. But who the who gives a fucking damn about USA, about Pakistan? Uh, we have no interest. We speak about the country, the people, the culture, the tradition, the values that matter to us. <laughs> then when nothing else works, eh, tattooed, bald, ugly, half-naked, fakir, and bad words and finally that is what it comes down to. I have even got people, I mean, they are families, huh? real profile. They'll, I'll see photographs of them holding their baby and their wife. And, uh, and they will be abusing my daughter or my child or... I don't understand. And th these are not fake profiles. Some of them even have videos. What are you doing, man? Is it, you're so butthurt. Because I criticize somebody else, you are getting influenced. Instead of you focusing on you. It's like I criticize Shah Rukh Khan's movie. You are feeling the pain. Oh, Jaggi Vasudev doesn't give a damn. You are feeling that immense pain. What has Jaggi Vasudev done for you? You have followed maybe some advice of his, watched a couple of videos. Yeah, you like him. But he, okay, nurse you back to health. Okay, teaching's fine. You may not agree with my views, fine. But why are you getting so affected? You'll say, ah, why are you getting affected? Boss, you're putting your nonsensical, illogical statements. 
and insulting someone's wife and kid, then shouldn't you respond? You know, the day our Indians stop all this immature behavior and illogical nonsense and they start focusing on themselves, maybe then the nation will progress. Like, you know, Jordan Peterson used to say, instead of focusing change in the world, you focus change on yourself first and then you worry about fixing the world. You are, you guys are worried about fixing uh, Jaggi Vasudev and India's reputation and talking about rape and talking about anti-Hindu, anti-Muslim, anti-this, anti-that. Forget. forget, Focus on your auntie and uncle, no? You don't have money. You don't even have fucking money to go for a holiday or to relax for a few months. You're living hand to mouth. Three hours of fucking traffic. Infrastructure is bad. No opportunities. No job openings. An overpopulation crisis. Uh, you don't know where your future holds. Nothing about your life is going right. And you're worried about Modi winning, one more temple being built, dark side of the moon, and we are a superpower. We have nuclear. Yeah, put the nuclear up your there. That explosion will at least maybe release some heat and burn off the mental virus that you have in your head. Hmm. Anyway, this is what I wanted to share. You guys let me know if you think I'm wrong, I'm right. I'll definitely read your comments. Hmm. You guys take care. And yes, India is number one. Egg them number one. Okay? Chalo. You guys take care.